Hello and welcome to AM Training Online's course implementing an ISO 55001 compliant asset management system. This course is based on Assertivity's highly regarded instructor-led training of the same name, adapted to the e-learning environment. This module provides an overview of the course, including the purpose, intended audience, learning objectives and course structure. By the end of this module, you should have a clear idea of whether this course is right for you and what will be required to complete it. As ever, a tutorial and links to further assistance are available on the AM Training Online site to assist you with access accessing and navigating the course. If you require further assistance with the content, please contact us via the details on screen to discuss your needs and explore whether we can assist you with other training options, coaching or consulting assistance. This course provides a comprehensive guide to compliance with ISO 55001, including exploring why you might wish to comply as well as how to do so. As such, it is targeted at the people responsible for developing, implementing and maintaining an asset management system. This would typically include asset management specialists and managers and executives from across the business. Key themes in the course include the requirement for and structure of an asset management system, a step-by-step -step process for building such a system, and the asset management journey from your current state to certification or an alternative goal appropriate to your organisation. By the end of this course, participants should be able to Describe the structure and intent of the ISO 55000 series of standards Describe the fundamentals of asset management Describe the key elements of an ISO 55001 compliant asset management system Understand how their organisation can demonstrate compliance with the requirements of ISO 55001 Understand how best to implement improved asset management processes and systems within their organisation. And understand the ISO 55001 certification process and how to seek certification. In order to achieve the learning objectives, the course contains the following modules. Module 1. This introduction and overview. Module 2. A refresher on key concepts and terminologies in asset management, including the business case for a sound management system. Module 3. A discussion of the four fundamentals that underlie good asset management. Module 4. Exploration of how cost, risk and benefit information can be captured in and incorporated into asset management decision making. Module 5. A brief history of how asset management has evolved as a discipline and how the standards came to be leading to a discussion of how and why you might want to apply them to guide your asset management activities. Module 6. Examination of the structure and content of the ISO 55000 series of standards, including mapping these requirements against a model of an asset management system. Module 7. Demonstrating the steps in a typical journey to certification, focusing on gap assessments, stakeholder engagement and project structure. Module 8. This module covers the development of the foundation documents for an asset management system, the policy, strategy and plans. Module 9. Here we explore some of the key stages and decisions in building an asset management system, including organisational structure, developing competencies and creating culture. Module 10. In this module we discuss certification, including the options available and the relative merits. And finally, Module 11. This final module provides a summary of the content, drawing together the key concepts. The modules have been designed to be completed in approximately 30 minutes wherever possible, although a few fall outside of this range due to the nature of the content. Each module consists of a presentation such as this one, with appropriate supporting material, including videos, quizzes and additional reading. You must complete all activities within the course to earn your certificate, although there is no formal assessment. We have also provided a comprehensive manual that is yours to keep, and this is included with Module 2. You should print this manual and keep it with you as you work through the course, as it contains additional information and space to record your answers to exercises and reflection questions. It also includes full references to supplement the brief references provided in the presentations. 
Please note we are unable to provide copies of the ISO 55000 standards themselves and have therefore designed the course so that access to the standards is beneficial rather than essential. We would, however, strongly recommend that any organisation considering implementing them read and thoroughly understand these standards as a key part of the process. Just a quick note on terminology before we close. What is commonly referred to as ISO 55000 is really a suite of three standards, as shown on the slide. To avoid confusion, we will use the term ISO 55000 to refer to the entire suite of standards and the specific standard number and publication date, for example, ISO 55001-2014, to refer to a specific standard within the suite. That completes this overview module. Good luck with the course and please don't hesitate to contact Assertivity on the details shown for further assistance with implementing ISO 55000 in your organisation. In Module 2, we'll explore some key asset management concepts and terminology, establish the business case for an asset management system and provide an overview of what such a system looks like. Until then, farewell.